top 10 manhwa where MC has a pet or familiar spirit as a companion. Do you love manhwa with main characters that have a pet or familiar spirit as a companion? If so, you are in luck. Our list includes some of the most popular manhwa out there, all of which are sure to keep you entertained. From light-hearted comedies to action-packed dramas, there is something for everyone on this list. So whether you are a die-hard manhwa fan or just getting started, be sure to check out our top picks. Starting off with our number 10, the S classes that I raised. The manga is relatively new, but so far it's pretty decent. Art is really good and the characters are portrayed well. Eugene is an F ranker overshadowed by his little brother and S ranker. All he does is get in his brother's way, causing trouble wherever he goes. When a seemingly routine dungeon raid goes wrong and costs Eugene his brother's life, Eugene decides to use the wish granted by clearing the dungeon to reset his timeline. The plan was to lead a quiet life from now on, but now it turns out he can help other people become S rankers. Maybe this is Eugene's chance at building his own entourage of powerful metahumans, but it may be easier said than done. Read this if you are craving wholesome and fulfilling character interactions, great side characters, and funny moments. Number 9. Duke Pain Dragon After 10 grueling years as a monster hunter in the Devil's Army, Raven Balt was given his final mission. Guard Alan Pendragon, Iyer, a formerly glorious dragon taming family. But when Raven and Alan are both killed as part of a conspiracy, Raven wakes up seven years in the past inside Alan's body. To solve the mystery behind his death, Raven must find the legendary white dragon to restore the power of House Pendragon. But does this mere hunter have what it takes to become a dragon master? Both Raven and Aaron, the story solid is fantastic so far. This is like one of those ones I wish I could rate it higher on 30 out of 10. Number 8. Talent Swallowing Magician The story is mid-tire and is a typical and classical average series where the MC is hell-bent on revenge. An unenjoyable read due to the abundance of series like this one, it does not possess individuality or uniqueness and is like many revenge series, completely the same as other revenge-themed series. However, with a slight twist to where this MC can absorb talent. The art is somewhat decent and pleasing to the eyes. However, the shading and colors do not fully utilize the tones of each color. So this art level can be classified as somewhat above average. This one is actually pretty solid fantasy manhwa. The art is pleasing to the eyes. Main character is calm and collective. The story has a kick to it. Main character can receive powers by absorbing high-grade demon kings. Number 7. My dad is too strong. This manhwa runs differently from the rest of Cultivation manhwa. First of all, his mind gets transported to the Murim world after he got run over by our truck kun. He gains the ability to revert back to the past one day every time he dies. A lot of years went by in the Murim world and he was nicknamed as Heavenly Demon. Then plot twist. His mind went back to his modern world and only a few hours went by after he got ran. That is the summary for me. And he adopts a daughter. The story is not that great, while its execution of the story seemed interesting. It ended up rather bland. It is basically just funny man who gets OP and gets power beyond the strongest in the world and defeats some monsters and bad guys. He tries hiding his strength and power as well, well I guess, and wants to live a normal life. Really amazing story with a unique plot and imagine adding solo leveling and hardcore martial arts manga together and you get this manhwa. Number 6. The newbie is too strong With his orphanage on the brink of closure, Kim Jai Joo needs to get rich fast. His best shot is to conquer the mysterious tower that appeared in the world 7 years ago, except that few who entered the tower ever managed to return. Jai Ju is just above as his wits and when all of a sudden he receives a bunch of videos featuring himself clearing the tower in the future. With his own comprehensive walkthrough in the plan of his hand, will this overpowered newbie be able to conquer the tower? The story of this manhwa is really good and it gets better after every single floor the main character clears. The art is also decent, fight scenes are also decent but they are not top tire. World building is done really well. 
characters are the best part of this manhwa. Most of them are written very well. Some of their actions and conversations are more immersive and more human-like. This is a highly awakener type manhwa where the main character climbs a tower. Moving on to our number 5. Standard of Reincarnation The Greatest Martial Family – Samyon Davin, a member of Samyon family, is a one-armed martial soldier without a right arm. Despite the ridicule and contempt he got only for having a left arm, he surpassed the direct line of Samyon family like a genius. However, he got betrayed by his family and parents in the end, thus meeting a poor end. But he was reincarnated. I have a right arm? He had a new family tradition, a naturally gifted body, experience from his past life and the god Yulian with him as well. After his reincarnation, everything changed and a new adventure started. I really am enjoying this so far. It has really interesting characters on which a few have a really good character development. It doesn't have any romance so far, so it is just heavily focused on the world building and the action scenes. Number 4. Street Restaurant of a Returned Hero Kyung Ho was an ordinary cook before being abducted and forced to fight off a demon invasion in another realm. Years later, he returns to his world, only to find it swarming with monsters. To make matters worse, he discovers that his mother and Earth's guardian deity, Carnes de Lupus, are dying. In order to save them and the world, Kyung Ho are first to serve Carnes revitalizing meals in return for healing his mother. But does Kyung Ho have what it takes to be both a hero and a cook? The MC is definitely OP, but almost never takes action. Instead, he guides people through seemingly innocent conversations or by helping from the shadows. It's like every time I think that the MC is about to do something cool and exciting, he ends up just doing everything to take the minimum amount of action without anyone finding out. Number 3. Trichera's subject saves the country. Main character is a noble in the Queen's court. He's corrupt and rotten to the core. One day, the kingdom was under attack from another tribe. The main character tried to run away with his gold but died in an accident trying to protect the queen. When he woke up, he was in a different place and an angel told him that he has to help in rebuilding the kingdom again from the start and he will die if he falls in this mission. This manhua has a pretty complicated and a very good story. It starts off a little bit lame but becomes better after the second mission. Main character is totally ruthless and cunning. He is also not a simp. He can do anything for victory. Abilities in this manhua really pack a punch. Kingdom building elements are on the more lighter side. The only major problem with this manhua is the translation, but it is still readable to some point. Number 2. The Definition of a Top Star after a tragic accident, Seo Ji-hoon suffers a horrible injury that mars his face. With his dreams of being an actor seemingly dashed, he spends his time working in a small shop while imagining another life. But when he chants upon a spirit who heals his injury, Ji-hoon is given a golden opportunity to chase his goal once again. The road to stardom won't be easy, but with the help of his special guide and some unique friends, he meets along the way, he is going to give one spirited performance. The system is adorable and I like the way things are believable. I would definitely recommend it. And finally number 1. Final Boss The main character is a legendary gamer who has maintained his number one position for a very long time. But it has been 7 days since he's disappeared. Meanwhile, the main character was a beta tester for a new online MMO game and he got stuck inside the game and become an artificial intelligence. So the developers tried to hide it from the public. Now the MC is stuck in the game and he's grinding his levels. This manual is good but there are some major flaws in it. Only read it if you have already read a lot of MMO manuals because it can become confusing for newbies to this genre. Ladies and gentlemen, we conclude today's list with that. But before we leave, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. We really work hard to bring you guys quality content, so a little appreciation goes a long way. Thanks for watching and have a great day.